I'm a slut for a thin man. I love a thin man. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of On Display with Melissa Gorga. How is everyone this week? Um, I am traveling, lucky me. Joe and I and the fam are away in Italy, but I didn't want to leave you hanging. So I have such a fun replay episode for you today. You guys all went crazy when I had these two guys on. They're so amazing. They were so much fun. It's the camp counselors. And you know, since I'm hearing all this stuff about Red Lion, lobster and how it'll soon be extinct because we love the biscuits from Red Lobster, the camp counselors and I. And when you listen to this episode, you'll hear all about it. You know, I just thought in memory of Red Lobster, here is the replay of my favorite duo, the camp counselors. I have like a really fresh, fun one for you today. I have a couple of guests on today that I've never had on before, so I always get excited to talk to new, fresh faces. These two are making waves in the podcast scene for their hilarious podcast called Camp Counselors. Uh, So today I have with me two always funny and sometimes sassy hosts of Camp Counselors, Jonathan and Zachariah. What's up, guys? Hello. Thank you so much for having us. What a great intro. I love that. (laughs) <laughs> I am really good. I just want to say I'm really good at intros. Like I love to hype everyone up and say true facts. And I think intros are so important. It kind of like sets the tone for the podcast. Like if you're like, hey, if I came on your podcast and you're like, yeah, I got, um, you know, Melissa from the Housewives is here. What's up, Melissa? I'd be like, ugh, can't you say like the beautiful, sexy, hot amazing no i'm just kidding no of course of course (laughs) beautiful stunning you know i'm just saying i think it's all about an intro but hi i'm so excited for my listeners to like listen to you guys today how are you guys doing good really excited about this been looking forward to it you are an icon in the Bravo celebrity like universe and beyond that. So it's it's amazing. We've got to tell a lot of people we're going to be on this and everyone's like, what? So <laughs> it's it's a cool milestone for us. So thank you for having us. Of course. I'm so excited to have you guys. You want to hear something funny? I wrote, I had to write, Zachariah, after your name, I, I had in quotes when I'm reading, um, Mariah. So that way I, I say your name correctly because I didn't want to butcher it. <laughs> so I literally told my producer to put Mariah after it so I don't fuck it up. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, it completely makes sense. It's funny. Either people have never seen it before or like I grew up like super religious. So it's like a it's a name from the New Testament. So sometimes I'll meet like an old lady at the grocery store and she'll be like, very biblical. And then I'm like, yeah, totally. And she's like, wait, um, okay. <laughs> or somebody told him the other day that it has good bones. I was like, I'm going to start telling people their names have good bones because you were glowing for the rest of the day. Yeah, that was a great. Yeah, we were picking up sushi and she was like, oh, love that name. Good bones. And I walked away feeling like a little taller after. yeah you're like damn i'm the shit you know why it gives you like a little <laughs> chest muscles because it is true i it does have good bones i don't know that that's the way i would have referenced it but it's different it, you have it sounds like expensive or something it's why it's like just, oh thank it, it, you. It, it has an expensive flair so i like it i love that um all right listen i want my listeners to get to know you guys a little bit um we're going to talk about the podcast you got to tell me how this started Can, first of all i want to know where the name came from because i do love that name camp counselors and you guys are actually a couple correct Mm -hmm. correct yes okay give me give me a lowdown on you too i need to hear this yeah of course so 2020 i got an instagram notification and this was before we both did content because we both do like tiktok and instagram professionally we do the podcast it's like just like constant video like all day long in our house but um in 2020 i got a notification on my phone that this boy was liking all my pictures and I was, I, I was like, oh, he's cute. But like, I don't like, like, I'm just a very confrontational person. So the first thing I said was I went to his DMs and I was like, you're going to like my photos, but not message me. Like, what's up with that? And he said that he found me on his explore page on Instagram. Do you ever use your explore page? Uh, I don't, but Joe Gorga does. Cause there's always hot girls in bikinis all over his freaking explore page oh. and i if you guys think i'm playing i'm not i get so f- frustrated every time i grab his phone for any reason and go near instagram because i'm like i literally throw it i'm like hello 
Like, what are you doing? He's like, no, you guys ready to hear this real quickly to side curb. Yeah. You know what? I thought it kind of looked like it could have been you in one of your photo <laughs> shoots. So I like hit it. And then what happens if you hit it, then it's, you, you, it keeps bringing up more girls in bikinis. I'm like, you are such a weak. That is the poorest excuse. You just, you look at girls and it's like soft porn on Instagram <laughs> because now they bend over until they get kicked off. They do all this shit. And he's just like sitting on the couch watching it all. And it drives me insane. I, I go nuts. I can't stand it. It's like, it's not my fault. It's just the algorithm is feeding me. <laughs> yeah, so, so you don't, but he does. God. <laughs> well, that's how it is. I think it's, it's 50, 50. Like we're on the same page. Like, I don't look at that. You and Joe are on the same page. You're looking at it. Well, What's your explore my, page? A bunch of hot men. And that was me. <laughs> so Mine's it's a little always bit looking at obviously. it. No, some people really do go on that explore page and they're into yeah. it and want to see what's going I don't think I've gone on it like ever. I don't think I ever go on the explore page. It's overstimulating for me. And sometimes I need to be overstimulated. So like, that's why I go, I get like thrown 10,000 different things at the same mm. time. So I just scroll on there when I'm bored and I came across his his picture and I was like okay he's cute I did what (laughs) Joe would do and I double tapped like can you blame me but at the time I was living in Philly and he was living in Massachusetts and it said like at the top the geotag said he was from Massachusetts I was like well I'm never gonna end up in Massachusetts so I'm just gonna double tap and be on my way and then I got a confrontational DM and he's like are you literally gonna double tap and not say anything to me and I was like okay hello and then like two yeah, like, later <laughs> i'm from a small town right i'm from new bedford massachusetts so it's like the gay community there is small once you, once you know everybody you know everybody so i was like no longer interested in like dating in that area i was really just like working on myself doing content and i thought it was fun to flirt with a guy from philly and that over the course of six months ended up doing like long distance drives and then we started dating for two years just kind of going back and forth every couple weekends which worked for me because i was in the beginning of like launching all the stuff that i'm doing now and really growing that and i've always thought that men are really distracting like if they're nearby i'm busy with that so it's like i needed someone that was at arm's length while i kind of built this and i think you kind of felt the same way we were working on ourselves but then we um as we got more serious we're like well we want to continue our career in content and podcasting so we should move kind of halfway to new york because kind of like it's a great city right it's kind of central to where we both are from and we've been here for almost two years living together but we're going on four years dating so it's been fun we do the same stuff so it's fun i love it what part of new york do you guys live in we're in brooklyn ah Brooklyn boys. Brooklyn has all like the great restaurants lately. Everything's in Brooklyn. All the hot spots are in Brooklyn. I love Brooklyn. It's, yeah, Brooklyn is really, I, I think it's just like so different than probably what it was like 20 years ago, but that's just going to be like the next set. New York continues to grow out as like every city really does, but it's really fun here. It's so different from the suburbs. Um, I miss driving every single day. I love a drive through. I love a strip mall. I love a Marshalls. I like to park my car and do my errands. So that's like the one part that I like miss so much of not living back home. But like, it's fun here. Subways, the subway's crazy. Like it's just, everything is like such a commitment to go anywhere, right? It's like, oh, I have to go to the grocery store. I want to get a case of Gatorade. Well, you're going to put that on your shoulder, break your back <laughs> six blocks. Like it's, it's, you have, to, and then I used to think like, oh, people, those little push carts, all those old ladies with the little carriages. Right. You think of those little silver push carts. That's what my brain, exactly. I was like, I would totally get one if I lived there. I don't even care. I would get 100%. one. hundred percent. And now all the young people here, everyone has them here. Cause it, it's not like an old lady thing to have here. It's like, no, that makes complete sense. Get your little, little trolley carriage and push it down the road. But yeah, you can get like a I Bentley do. one or something. There's gotta be like the high end pusher, be like a straw. <laughs> Stroller, like the girl, the yes. ladies need the high end strollers. Like you also need the high end collect your groceries, right? Like there's got to be some. I'm gonna invent that for all New Yorkers. It's gonna be like the Bentley of like carts for all of you yeah, New Yorkers, and now. everyone's gonna want the Melissa Gorga puller cart. <laughs> That's what they're all yeah, gonna we'll, want. We'll take too. one if you, yeah, if you yeah. want to test it out yeah. on us, we'll give you great <laughs> feedback. I will totally send one your way. That's an awesome. Joe's always looking for business ideas. You just gave me a great one. I think that's awesome. Because yeah, like, you have market. to see, you have to see the moms in this city. Even the moms here. It's like 
the stroller is a big deal. There's a high, you got to get the name brand of the specific cool stroller that's happening or like whatever it is, you know? Mm, I mm-hmm. know, I know. But wait, I can also totally relate with you with wanting to run to the strip mall and Marshalls and get park your car, go in and out of your car, go through the drive through. Like if I had to leave New Jersey and leave, live there, that would hurt me the most. Like it's truly my favorite pastime is like pulling up to a target and like getting out and going in and coming back to my car and then sitting in there for a moment and then going yes. to get my Starbucks and sitting at the drive through with my, it's like a whole day of happiness, especially when it's sunny outside. So I could yeah, totally good hear music that and stuff. And then it's like, I don't know. I've always think that like I have good mental clarity in a car. Cause all you can really do is just drive and kind of like process what you're thinking about. And that's like the one thing I've missed about living here. But now that we've been here for almost two years, I've kind of settled into like life here, but we're going to bring it up because we've we been trying to figure out what to bring us up. So Saturday, it was <laughs> raining. You, were you in New Jersey on Saturday? Uh, it was raining is an understatement. It was coming down. Like it was crazy. So we we're like, let's get out of the city. Let's have a day and have some fun. I was like, where should we go? So we took a little drive. And we popped into Envy because no! we knew we were going to be on the show. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You guys have Envy hats? I love this so much right now. Oh, my God. Uh, we had wait, wait. It was pouring rain on Saturday and you came out to Ridgewood, New Jersey? And we committed. Yes, we did. Oh, my God. I love you guys so much. Thank you. That's so cute. We, we like parked in that like little lot like that's across the street we did a little mar- parking but it was raining and i we knew that we were going to get the hats we already like found them online so i ran in to envy like a bad hell <laughs> and i'm beelining for the hats but i went to the wrong section went towards like the back and the other hats were in the front and one of the girls working she was like oh um she's like it seems like you know exactly what you're looking for and i was like i need to calm down like why <laughs> running through envy at 100 miles an hour dripping wet all over her this nice floor is- hysterical this is so funny and you know what's so funny we were training we had like there was probably what three girls in there or two three right there was three one was training because we taught her how to use the ipad because it was a mobile mobile transaction didn't have the tap so she but she was good no she was literally learning that day so i was in contact with them all day i'm like how is this girl how's it going what's going they're like she's she's learning she's doing it so you guys got to meet someone who was her first day that's so funny that's hysterical. <laughs> well, it was great vibes in there. It's a gorgeous store. Thank you. You know what? It's very like a happy place, especially like just we usually they usually have the music on. It's just it's a happy place. Everyone's yeah. in there shopping and having fun. But you guys came in on a super, super rainy day and I appreciate you. Thank you. That is so cute. I feel like that whole area is so nice. Like If it wasn't raining, I would have like popped into some other places because there's like a lot. Oh, there's that whole area. There's like just restaurants and stores like everywhere. It's like a pop-in area. Yeah. You know what? I'm so upset you came on a rainy day. Like the, bar, all the, like the doors would have been open to like the bar next door. Mm. You could sit outside. There's great coffee places. Everybody's walking around because there's the train station right there. So you can come right yeah. in from New York, jump off. And like, it's just a very crazy busy town, which is why I love it there. So you're going to have to come back and let me know when you're coming back the next time. So you can like go for a coffee oh, or lunch or something. Yeah. But thank you for the for support. Sure, you guys are so cute. That's probably one of the cutest things oh. ever. <laughs> I'm actually in And if you guys have to send me a photo of you both wearing this hat with like the podcast mic, please do. I need to post this. This is too cute. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> and hey, great quality hats too. Yeah. For the record, on the record right now. Love it. Well, let me tell you why. Joe Gorga is a huge hat guy. He is a hat man. He wears a hat. He loves a hat. He did not like, I opened the store now eight years ago and I'm about to open mm. my second store on uh, March 23rd on Long Island, which I am so excited about. Nice. So you guys can come Huntington, Long Island. I don't know how far you are from there but so anyway he did not like my first round of hats he's like they fit weird they're a little like they're not good they don't fit my head good these are you need to get different I changed the hats five times till Joe Gorga said like this is a hat so you can thank Joe that you like those because he was the one who chose those they fit good right yeah yeah, okay, good. yeah so just tell him a, a, a little gay in Brooklyn is loving the hat choices <laughs> oh my god he is gonna be so excited that is so cute um, all right. Well, back to you guys. Tell me how you came up with camp counselors. Uh, when we moved to New York, a big part of like 
us like living together we're like hey we independently make our own content like i do a lot of skits and characters jonathan does a lot of like observational comedy but we wanted to kind of bring our different energies together i'm much more loud and boisterous jonathan is very like he's like so smart and so funny and it's a lot more like cerebral so we're like oh let's do a podcast together but how are we going to theme it and how are we going to like make it have some sort of cohesion for us um so we were trying to come up with some general like jokey theme and camp counselors came up we both love like the parent trap growing up and that kind of like silly vibe so we were like hey we never were camp counselors but i think there's something about our qualities that has camp counselor energy (laughs) like we'd be really good on a dock with a whistle and we know how to like whip the kids in line, but also sit down and make friendship bracelets. Like that's kind of our energy. Yes. Um, so we were like, let's make this like fictional camp with all these employees and all these little like areas that kind of coincide with like funny news, um, what we're loving, what we're hating, these segments that we do every week with the idea of this like fictional camp. So it's been fun. It's- yeah. We somehow just like created the, a weird little universe. Like you said, like with fake people who work there and and people comment and like ask about those people it's it's just i don't know it's weird it's interesting it's really cool though having yeah. like a fictional universe that everybody's buying into i it's actually not even about love it camping. i saw a couple clips and i'm like these two are funny <laughs> like you guys are great you guys you. are like really really funny Thank you. Thank yeah you. it's been cool because like long form too because everything we do usually is like 30 seconds 60 seconds but like you know you're you're on the podcast like life it's like sitting down and having in-depth conversations is a it's an interesting way because you get more out of it because i think you like we'll start a conversation as one thing and then it develops completely different and that ends up being the best part of the show so you never know what you're going to get into which i think is really fun about it always i always say that like i always go off on a tangent on something that i had zero planned for that day and i'm like i didn't even want to talk about this like i went on for 20 minutes (laughs) about whatever and it's always the best convo and i completely agree with you that's just how this goes and you guys have great banter back and forth with each other does it ever cause like relationship problems when you get off the podcast you ever get annoyed or have an argument over it no I think at the beginning it was like weird to get into it but now we're like 78 episodes in and we've found our footing and kind of like shelf it and sometimes we'll have our little you know bickers and and (laughs) fights but the the girls love it like everybody who listens is like uh, other dads are fighting dads are so sometimes fighting. we'll just like lean into we do it. we do fight though because it's like we do everything together which i love and i wouldn't change it for the world because it kind of is like it, that's where our lives have taken us and we're like so gung-ho about continuing on this journey on like line and stuff but like it's so funny we were out to eat that same day that we went to your store we ended up eating in williamsburg at this restaurant and i wanted to go out because i was feeling silly and i like had an espresso at five so i'm like let's keep going out but it was so bad that night. it was pouring rain so i'm convincing him to go out i'm trying to convince our other friend to meet us and we were bickering at the table and I'm being a bitch about it because I'm like, listen, it's Saturday night. Like, let's just go out, whatever. We have a busy week. Let's enjoy it because we're already out. And then I get a DM on Instagram that night being like, hey, you saw you and John eating at dinner. Didn't want to interrupt. I'm like, and we're like, oh my God, they're like, sauce, like, oh my God. Just fighting at the table. That is like, so funny. Oh. You know, you, could you imagine how much that happens to Joe and I? Like, you have no idea. Oh. And the people always act like they have no, like, not always, but you definitely get some that are literally sitting right next to you and do not say a word. And so <laughs> So you literally think like, oh, they probably they're not one of the ones who watch this show. Right. And then they literally will DM me three seconds after. Oh, my God. We were just sitting next to you. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, you look like, like you I could saying? give a shit less <laughs> that I was sitting there the other day. I took this new class at the gym. She's like, so I worked out behind you the whole time. I didn't want to say how. I was like, oh, like I just it's, it's always like it's so random and weird how they don't say anything. And the second I walk out, they're like, we were sitting right next to you and we were we heard you saying and I'm like, oh, my God, like it never fails. <laughs> Here's the audio recording of what you were saying. Yes. You actually no. captured that. You just never know who's Listening. No, kind of I it always warn Joe about that because he's not as like careful. So I'm always like, Joe, everyone knows you. Like <laughs> no matter what, even if they're not like they don't watch the shit, they still know you. You're very like a noticeable guy. Mm. I'm like, just be careful because like it's everybody's listening, you know. And and your indoor voice isn't that quiet, Joe. <laughs> yes, especially in like small New York City restaurants where they're like everybody's right on top of you. I'm always <laughs> like in inside voice, doll inside voice. 
Are you in pain after walking, running, or even just standing? It's not your feet, it's your shoes. This summer, switch to Jitify Shoes with VersoShock technology, which aligns your body, provides superior shock absorption, and trampoline-like energy return. Jitify offers soles and styles for any activity, plus two free orthotics. Whether you're an athlete, a busy parent, or always on the go, Jitify Shoes deliver the comfort and versatility your feet crave. Say goodbye to comfort and hello to unparalleled support this summer. Guys, I own a couple pairs of Jitify shoes and they are so incredibly comfortable. Whether I'm running around with the kids or just handling things at home, these are the shoes that I can wear the entire day. Enjoy a special summer offer. Visit Jitify.com and get $20 off your order of $100 or more with code Melissa. Experience ultimate comfort with Jitify shoes. Visit G-D-E-F-Y.com today. Small, easy changes in your routine can have amazing results, and your secret weapon should be Dime Beauty. Dime Beauty is clean, high-end skincare that is affordable, and it really works. Dime didn't sacrifice performance just to make it clean either. And when I say clean, Dime is 100% transparent about every single ingredient, so you can use their products daily with confidence. Guys, you know me, and you know how much skincare matters to me. Dime has been a game changer for so many people because their products truly do exactly what they say they're going to do. If you're like me, you want to take out all of the planning and coordination of your skincare routine. And that's exactly why their works collection is great. With all the running around, I don't have time to remember the order of a 10-step routine. I mean, let's be real. No one has time for that. The work system is everything you need in one powerful package. It includes a gentle cleanser, a toner, two incredible serums, and two luxurious moisturizers. And guys, get this. Dime has over 2 million happy customers, and their product reviews are literally all five stars. If you haven't checked out Dime, where have you been? Love your skin again. Go to DimeBeautyCO.com now and unlock 20% off when you use code MELISSA20. That's DimeBeautyCO.com. Use code MELISSA20 for 20% off. You are going to love this stuff. Well, wait, speaking about your podcast, I, I, I have to, you have to clarify, you guys had some beef or something. What, what's the deal with Julia Roberts? Because I need, I need to hear this. First of all, I'm going to be, say it loud and proud. She is one of my favorites because I'm obsessed with that movie. So she's one of my, my favorites because, you know, Mm. you just, I need to hear this story. I have to hear this. Well, you take it away because you got the beef for her. Okay, and here it goes, and it starts. <laughs> Wait, you guys feel so, like she has like a what... hex on you or something? Well, on me personally, okay. he's in the clear. Okay. But okay. <laughs> I forget what we were talking about like a year ago. We were talking about some movie that she was in, and I don't know. I just wasn't really interested, and I said it just like that. Like I don't not think she's talented. I just like, I don't know. I just like didn't have an affinity for her. I didn't love her. And he took that and he ran with that. And he put that out into the ether. He's like, tell the, tell everybody how you hate Julia Roberts. Well, if you don't love and respect Julia Roberts for the contribution she's made to cinema, film, joy, and love, that I can only read that as hate because everything she's ever touched has been a masterpiece. And I don't know how you can be so blasé about Julia Roberts. And we believe she put a hex on him. And this is all like a lie. Like all we do on the podcast is just lie and talk shit (laughs) about things that aren't even true. Because Emma Roberts, her niece follows me on Instagram and sometimes she'll like my videos. So I believe that she says her Emma Roberts has liked a video, then listened to the podcast and found out that Jonathan doesn't like his aunt, her aunt. And in turn now... She's put a hex on him. None of this is true. We have nothing to back it up. But also, there's nothing saying that it's not true either. So it's 50-50. Oh, <laughs> my God. This is so... First of all, Emma Roberts follows you. That's hysterical. That's awesome. I know. So crazy. So they're listeners. They might be listening. She might have heard and what you said. Exactly. <laughs> Probably not, but maybe. I did, yeah, I had a string of bad luck for a little bit. And that's all I could I could put it to. Because I like to think I have good karma. I'm a good, I'm a good freaking person. Um, but we did go to Mystic Pizza. I don't know if you've ever seen Mystic Pizza, I, one of her like first movies. Back in the day, I feel like I can't remember yeah. it, but there's like a spot associated, right? Yeah. yeah, where they actually filmed it. We actually they we went there. I got my t-shirt. 
and I, and I changed my mind about Julia, but he just the story will keep going. Wait, that's a cute place. If you're gonna continue, if you're gonna continue the the envy like takeover, like Mystic, Connecticut, it's really cute coastal town right off of 95. They had the pizza place, but it's like you get down there and there's like there's an ice cream place on the edge of the bridge, and I'm like literally welling up in tears. I'm like, why is this place so picture perfect right now? And I'm like, stop crying. It's literally a town, but it's cute there. <laughs> I can cute. get what they mean in movie. Really? Is it half like? Is it like yeah. that? Is it like Ridgewood where there's a bunch of little like stores and? Really? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. cute. Yeah. The only, Very much. The only thing is the parking is a little like difficult over I there. Know. What are you gonna do? Yeah, though? Like, all this. But towns. that was. We had yeah. always like driven past it when we were dating long distance. I would always be like, "There's Mystic, Mystic Pizza," because I'd seen the movie. And and one day we were like, "Let's just let's just stop. Like Hello, we've passed man. it a million times. Let's just go." So we didn't. Hey, they got they got a great slice there. Well, listen, <laughs> there you go. At least you like. I have to be honest. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's ever said anything negative about <laughs> Julia Roberts in my life. Like I'm like what? Melissa. I'm not. saying I know. I mean, like we even slightly not like not that you're saying negative, but she doesn't appeal to or whatever it is. I'm just like, huh? I've never heard of such gonna, a thing. <laughs> and this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna cross paths with her one day, and somebody's gonna dig up this audio. Mm. and it's gonna haunt me forever uh, continuing the house. okay okay so we're not okay so we're on a good path now and we're we're seeing what gorgeous smile she has and we're remembering the gorgeous orangish hair and now we're in yes i love yeah. it sometimes i'm just really late to the game like i didn't watch twilight till this past year i'm just late to the game and now i'm on the train okay. look at you there all look right at you on the Roberts okay train. well i like it you're there now mystic pizza boy that's good <laughs> Um, wait, I also hear that you guys do like the camper crush mm. of the week. This is like a segment you do on the podcast, right? Yes. yes. And it's called camper crush of the week where you talk about the things that you're loving this week. So I need to know what are some of the camper crushes from the past couple days? Give me something. I want to be involved in this. So right after we left your store, I was like, okay, like we're, it's only, it was only like two o'clock and we were already in New Jersey and to know Jonathan and I is to know that we love, like, we love a theme park. We love a chain restaurant. We love just like, just real simple bullshit and just ridiculousness. So we were like, let's go to the American dream mall. I've never been. And it's like, wait. I'm sure you've been, correct? Yes, it is. It is what everyone does over here, minus me, on a rainy day. Like, and it was, and it was, <laughs> we went on a really bad day. <laughs> it was packed. insane. Packed. Wait, it is unbelievable that all of that is in a mall. The mountain? It's the, the biggest mountain? thing you've ever seen in the, there is a water park. There is a, you name, I don't know what it doesn't have. I mean, mm. literally restaurants, Saks Fifth Avenue, water parks, movie theaters, fighting with the rink, guns. amusement park. Yeah, it's it's got everything. They have an entire Angry Birds themed mini golf place I just like appeared upon. I was like, wait, where, where was this? There's and it's koi fish in the fountain. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's just, it was a sight for the senses. The money they spent on that place baffles me all I the know. time. Like, because Joe and I always are like looking at real estate. When we go there, we're like, how much do you mm. think this costs? Like it is the American Dream Mall, guys. If you ever get a chance to come to New Jersey and it's right by Giant Stadium, right? Isn't it not amazing? Mm-hmm. Like it's pretty amazing. I'm telling my it listeners is. now. I know you guys went, but I I feel like did you what did you actually do when you got there? We really just like peruse. Well, we fought <laughs> for parking for like 45 minutes, like absolutely insane. Um, and then we have a couple <laughs> things that we're doing this week. So we got some clothing, but a big, a big part of like the, the, the trip was just to see, like we walked through the entire amusement park. We watched people ice skate, watch a lot of kids fall. There was one guy that was like giving Olympic status and he was doing like pirouettes and like, like figure eights. And I'm like in the middle of a crowded ice skating <laughs> rink, just like darting in between people. Um, I got an espresso. I, I got to get a cocktail, cocktail or something. Did you get a cocktail? No, we didn't. No, we, we got a cocktail later that night and then fought at the restaurant. That's what we did. That's <laughs> that's when it happened. Got it. Saturday got was it. so fun though. We had Saturday was day. fun. Yeah, definitely be talking about that on the podcast. Oh my god, that sounds like fun. Okay, I like that you like you hung out in Jersey for a second. That's always good. 
Yeah, we had um, a delicious day. We wanted to go out in Hoboken, but I didn't know where to go. And it's kind of like, it's just like mini New York City where if you don't know where to park or where you're going and it was such bad weather. But I wanted to, because I have a lot of friends that from like that I've met in New York that all live in Hoboken. So I want to get out there too. Yeah. So that I would be honest with you, the rainy day would have killed Hoboken for you as well. Yeah. Like I had plans all night Saturday night. We had eight o'clock dinner plans at like a really great new like speakeasy spot. And it was like five o'clock and I was looking out the window and I was looking at Joe and we had two other couples going and I was like, I don't think that I'm going to get dressed and put makeup on. Like, I just don't think it's going to happen because I'm very like I function with the weather. And I'm like, I just I just don't feel like it. So I literally canceled my plans at like 630 that night for my eight o'clock dinner. I felt terrible, but I was like, I'm not getting dressed and going out in this. It was like it went to like 1 a.m. and it was like a wind tunnel here. It was like insanity. It was we walked a mile because I didn't want to move the car in Williamsburg to the bar. So we walked. My umbrella did that thing where it flips like outward, like it breaks. And I'm just, we were soaked in the bar. We were literally soaked in the bar, but I was, I was already out. And that was the thing you hadn't left because once you're out, you can kind of like keep the vibes going a little bit. Right, so right. I was determined to get a margarita that night. <laughs> you were having right. yourself a su- Saturday. You were like, I'm having this day. It's happening. We're having it. Um, okay. Well, I have a couple things that I'm crushing on that I want to yes. see yes. if you guys agree with my crush. Uh, mine happens to be a man. <laughs> Let's see if you have the same crush. I have to go by his like character so I don't feel guilty. So I have a major crush on Dr. McDreamy, who we all know is Patrick Dempsey. He's also mm-hmm. the hottest man alive right now on People Magazine this year. So I think I choose well because he's he's not you know i this is not a new crush this is a crush Mm. for like the last 15 year crush type thing so um that's my crush and i felt like i needed to share that with you along with my food crush oh let's hear them both let's hear them i'm crushing on pomegranates do you guys eat these oh my god i love pomegranates i struggle to do you buy the seeds or do you buy like the actual pomegranate and then no work for it yes i work my ass off (laughs) what a reward i i put the fucking bib on because they stain like crazy even your skin oh they're great for your skin too though do you know this it's all antioxidants so oh my god it's the most amazing thing you can do for your skin is eat a pomegranate. So my mother used to call them Chinese apples. I don't know why. I don't know if that's what they're... I don't know if that was the name back in the day. She'd be like, do you want a Chinese apple? And then I would sit there for hours with a towel on my lap because God knows they splatter all over you and they stain everything. And recently I have refound them because I read something on Instagram that it's like literally a game changer for like antioxidants and this and that in your skin. And I was like, I love them and they take up a great amount of time so I won't eat other shit. So... I am crushing on pomegranates. I feel like you guys should try it. I love that. I, and you're also like, you're getting a workout in you mm. know, when I'm like beating it with a spoon, just trying to get like the smallest amount of seeds out. But then you have yourself a little collection and yeah, that's yeah, a great And crush. then you get that one, you peel off the skin and then there's a nice little <laughs> cluster and then you what take a, a bite and it squirts in your face, but you get all that juice and you're like, this is amazing. And you don't want anyone to look at you because your mouth is red and you're like a hot mess doing it. I mean, it's a private snack. That is definitely like, yeah, yeah you don't want to sit out in public and do that because you just have to fully immerse yourself in the pomegranate of it all. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, it's Girl Scout cookie time right now, too. It's like oh they're, God, they're being obsessed. delivered everywhere. That is like a phenomenon here in New Jersey. So you, I need to know from you guys, like, what are your favorite Girl Scout cookies? Do you have like a favorite that you mm. love? Of course. They discontinued mine. I really, well, it's, it's pretty generic, but when I was younger, the, do you remember the ones that had the zoo animals on it? It was the square and they had like animals and it was chocolate on the back. It had like a zebra on it, didn't it? Yeah. 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 They had like all the, the zoo animals. I liked those, but I liked the, um, the coconut ones. What are those? Samoas? Yeah. Are those Samoas? Samoas. Yes. Jason Samosa. Yeah. Yes. I'm a slut for a thin man. I love a thin man. And that one really gets its like, it gets its coins because like there's always a thin mint collab happening. Like everywhere you go, it's like, oh, they have a thin mint milkshake here or something. Like I feel like I get my fix, but I haven't seen, where are the Girl Scouts? Where have they been? You know? I know. And they're little, and they're the brownies or whatever they, you know, in the little brown outfit with the little hat and they mm-hmm. get all their patches. Those are extremely, I don't know. I don't see them anymore. They definitely don't knock on your doors anymore. Like no, they they post up outside of the grocery store. Yeah, and that's right. smart. That's we were just at Stop and Shop in Queens. That's where we get our groceries. 
Not that you even asked, but we were, they, were, they had a bunch of Cub Scouts doing a food drive and they gave us a paper with what they were looking for, which was so smart because then it's like, oh, I can just get what you need while I'm in there and then do the food donation. So they're really smart about it because it's like you, you, you ask people to bring you stuff and they're not going to. But if they're at the store already, yeah, I'll buy this stovetop stuffing and throw it in the bin. You know what I mean? So, but you know what? The Girl Scouts weren't there. So I didn't buy any cookies unfortunately. All right. Well, that's another thing I'm always crushing on. And the I had to talk to you guys about this because I know you love fast food, not just mm. fast food, chain restaurants, right? I do. So I, love it I need to tell you my favorites and I want to know if you guys agree with me or not on them. Let's hear it. And I, I, these are not like, I didn't make this up for the podcast. Like, oh, let me think what could, these are legit. <laughs> my real time <laughs> and I go to them. Well, I go to one of them <laughs> because I feel like I get heat when I go to the other one. <laughs> but like, I really love the Outback Steakhouse and I go to it. I love it there. I love the tangy tomato dressing on my salad. They give you brown bread to start with amazing I, yes. butter. You are missing out on the uh, like the blooming onion you're missing out if you don't go to the outback that's all i'm gonna say about that wait so i've never actually been but zach made a video about a blooming onion and they like dm'd him and were, were like do you want to come to like the test kitchen and, and yeah actually make one with us so I, I got flown to orlando to meet like the executive chef of of outback State. no you did not i know because i do i i used to do it a lot more but not as much anymore because i don't live in mass anymore but i used to drive to like savers and thrift stores and find old kitchen gadgets to make videos so i found this one from the 90s called like the great american steakhouse fried onion maker which was essentially just a bloomin onion which is the best appetizer there in my opinion and Correct. i made it and it went totally viral so outback flew me out to go make one with them so i got to use like their real onion cutter and do the whole thing oh, i I'm love so it jealous Outback is so incredible and what a brave, what a brave answer because no one's talking about Outback and we need to collectively as a team right now, really bring them to the forefront because I'm not hearing enough Outback applause. And as, as your camper crush of the week, I really, I'm supporting that completely. Thank you. Thank you. It's a friggin' great restaurant. I mean, for real guys, I have a nice little glass of wine. I get the yes. little, get a little petite filet. I'm very happy at the Outback. I swear. And my kids, if I'm like, well, let's go grab, they're like, let's go to the Outback. And Joe just looks at me. I'm like, I, I, I'm down with the Outback. If you want, I'll go to the <laughs> I didn't say it. They did. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Do it for the kids. <laughs> and then the other one I love, which I don't actually go to anymore, but I really do love red lobster. Like I love mm. red lobster. I do. I like the Caesar salad. I like the biscuits and I like the endless crab legs. Like I think the, I think their seafood is fresh because they get such a huge turnover. There's not enough time for their seafood to sit around. And that's just my thought on that. So those are my Love favorites. That. They like recently, wasn't there something about their endless shrimp? They were like, oh, the endless shrimp. Like, yeah. It, it's got to end. We do like weird news articles like on, on our podcast. So it's never like anything that people need to know. But we reported that um, Red Lobster lost like $6 million in their fourth quarter earnings because of endless shrimp. Because they didn't anticipate people to go there and really eat. Endless that much shrimp. shrimp like they lost so much money from it because people were going there and just eating so much shrimp well, i can endless. imagine because like, shrimp is just so easy you can eat a hundred of them if you really mm. wanted to and if you thought you exactly. were getting your money's worth hundred right? like, percent. So you gotta go hungry and you gotta get your money's worth that's what we will always do yeah the biscuits are like insane there the cheddar bay biscuits Come on. Like so I would go. Good. I just, I want to, I want to have a biscuit and a club soda with lemon. Like that's what I want to do. <laughs> I would enjoy that so deeply. Like if I can, I can, I just don't, but I would like to go to Red Lobster. I really would. I, don't I would die I would. to see a picture of you like just sitting at a Red Lobster. Like that would be like the most insane post ever. I would be like obsessed with it. <laughs> be like there she goes. She said she loves the biscuit. Biscuits, you know? <laughs> and I even bought the biscuit like mix and yeah, started to that? try to make them at home. They're decent if you follow yeah. it. It's not exactly okay. the same, but it gives you a little satisfaction, which, which mm. is good if you love the biscuits. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, my God. On display with Melissa Gorga is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. 
most of you listening right now are probably multitasking. Yep, while you're listening to On Display, you're probably also driving, cleaning, exercising, or maybe even grocery shopping. But if you're not in some kind of moving vehicle, there's something else you can be doing right now. Getting an auto quote from Progressive Insurance. It's easy and you can save money by doing it right now, right from your phone. Drivers who save by switching to Progressive save nearly $700 on average and auto customers qualify for an average of seven discounts. Discounts for having multiple vehicles on your policy, being a homeowner, and so much more. So just like your favorite podcast, Progressive will be with you 24-7, 365 days a year, so you're protected no matter what. Multitask right now. Quote your car insurance at Progressive.com to join the over 29 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National average 12-month savings of $698 by new customers surveyed who have saved with Progressive between June 2021 and May 2022. Potential savings will vary. Discounts not available in all states and situations. Wait, what are your two favorite chains, each of you? I, I forget. I'm huge on the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, it's cheesecake just, factory. oh my God, it's so expansive there, right? The you menu there, is like a freaking Bible. Like the menu is so big and I love, I love it there. The food, the apps are so good. The so little avocado good. egg rolls and all this, but how the, it's like a Bible. Yeah. You it's need it, like an audio book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's but 18 I will say, pages. I'm hating this new trend and this might be controversial. I think it's homophobic. I don't love when a menu is telling me the calorie on it. I know I'm here. I know I'm here. I'm getting the chicken Madeira and I'm loving it. You just told me it's 2,400 calories. I don't need to know that. So enough. Delete that. I don't need to know that right now. And I, then and then I'm second guessing it. And then I'm on the, they have the skinny licious menu. <laughs> oh, I'm going to peruse it. I'm not going to order from it, but I'll take a look. <laughs> it's so it's just, true. I wonder why they do. Why are you telling me my calories? I really don't want to see them. That is 100% true. Kind of like kills it a little bit it, for us. 100%. Yeah. What's your What's your favorite right now? Oh, um, <laughs> I love Margaritaville. <laughs> like, I'm going big. <laughs> I love it. Can't be uh, the one in Times Square. Is This is like any anybody from New York listening to this is already like unsubscribing from our podcast. So I'm just going to go <laughs> with it. But at five o'clock. It is magic in there. Oh, it's insane. It is, it's like Christmas every day at five o'clock. Everybody stops and claps and like the lights go off and they're playing Jimmy Buffett. May he rest in peace. Like we have to party for him. We do. Like we have to do it for we him. We have to for Jim. Um, the food there. I don't know if I've ever left a Margaritaville and been like, that was good. But, <laughs> but I'm always making memories. And that's always like, a memory there. That's what's It's all about the experience and that five o'clock whistle. Like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes to the merch after and he's like buying hats. I'm like, we don't need a hat every time we visit a Margaritaville. I have like three hats for Margaritaville. It's insane. I need one that lights up. Oh my God. I love you guys. You guys are so <laughs> funny. This is hysterical. Okay. Well then to end this, I need to ask you this, which I think, you know, this is going to be a super easy for you guys. Um, which do you marry? Which do you fuck? And which do you kill? Okay. Okay. We got Chili's, we got Applebee's, and we got the Cheesecake Factory. Okay. Can I go first? Yes, please. Oh, wait, I, I'm going in my gut. I'm killing Applebee's. They've, they've never done me right. They've only done me dirty. I'm going to fuck Chili's because Chili's is spicy. They're hot, and they know how to perform there with them sizzling fajitas. It's something quick, something dirty, and I know I'm getting down with it. And I'm going to marry my lifelong partner of Cheesecake Factory because they've already committed to her. Or him. And I just, I, we, we get each other and we see each other eye to eye. So those are my, that's my instant go. And there's always a lot of options there for you. Yes. It's never ending, (laughs) isn't it? (laughs) Well, now I'm annoyed because that was literally my answer. So I'm not going to be like, same. But yeah, we could have like a throuple with, um, with the Cheesecake Factory. Oh yeah. We're looking for a third Cheesecake Factory. Let us know. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, literally mine would be the same. We never shy away from a Chili's, though. We we like a Chili's, too. And I do love to order the sizzling fajitas because I, I, I don't get enough attention. So I like everyone in the restaurant to look at me. So. <laughs> Which is exactly what happens when those peppers and onions come by sizzling hot. It's like everyone's like, oh, like it's just a yeah. thing, right? It's, and it's in everybody's senses. You're hearing it. You're seeing it. You're smelling it. It's like 
It's not for shy people. <laughs> it's it's not. It's for the people who want the attention. They want you to clap when it's their birthday. They want the song. Yeah. They want. They need it all. They need it all. Can we charity. ask you one? Yes, I would love that. Okay, let's do Outback Steakhouse, um, Red Lobster, <laughs> and Fridays. Oh, you have Fridays, Fridays there. Fridays. Oh my god. Huh. <laughs> well. I think, um, oh, this is so hard. <laughs> I, I really want to fuck we'll Fridays because it's Fridays. Oh. You know Wait, what I obsessed. mean? It's just like, it's yes. Fridays. They do that Jack Daniels <laughs> specialty sauce and he's just probably We're, so hot and he tastes like you want to lick the Jack Daniels sauce, right? It's like, mm. oh my God, it's like, welcome to Fridays. And you get the chicken with the Jack Daniels sauce on top for sure. Oh yeah. So now, I mean, I'm definitely going to have to marry the Outback. It's like, I, I feel like I am Australian when I'm there. I've always wanted to try an Australian in marriage. I hear they're great partners so we're gonna have They're to great go with, down under. with that yeah. and i hate to kill red lobster but you know what i go in there and i see live lobsters chained up with rubber bands around <laughs> their arms so i'm gonna have to kill red lobster okay we're gonna have to kill them and that's it this is this good Are killing Do all the lobsters like with it no, no that's yeah, great we, it we, is we so graphic when you walk in there it's like okay like i don't need to see them on display like mm-hmm. keep that in the back i'm, a, I'm on display with oh. melissa gorga <laughs> They're like on display, on display. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just sing it for you. <laughs> Give you a little, a little too. Wait, yes, did you guys that. hold on? I can't let you go without asking this. I need to know. Did you guys watch the Oscars last night? Do we have any favorite dressed? I want to hear your opinion on who was best dressed. Um, I only wa- I only saw it on um, Twitter like on Instagram. But there's this guy on TikTok. His name is Reese, and he does a lot of like movie content. And he's not a full blown like actor or anything. He's more of like a personality, but he dresses so impeccable. And I have to mention someone for like my universe of the internet because he's now went from being like a, a person on the carpet to now being an invited guest. And his like pipeline from internet to then invited is just so cool. But menswear, I think, can get so boring, right? Sometimes it's like just to talk. So anyone who like plays with a different silhouette in the menswear always really catches my attention. What Same. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, I saw Billie Eilish. I liked, but I liked, there was a meme and it was like Miss Trunchbull from Matilda if she was a baddie. And it was the picture of her in like her school outfit. Oh. So I'm going to have to give it to her. But also I didn't completely watch. So I'm sure there was somebody else that should should earn that. But I'm going to say, you say? What did you love? I mean, I loved Emily Blunt. I don't know if you saw her on Instagram, but she I had did. on this crazy gorgeous dress but it did have it had like you know that trend that they're doing right now where it almost looked like the vagina was on the dress so like i posted it on instagram and everyone's like wait it looks like she has a penis but the dress was incredibly gorgeous it was google emily blunt's dress right now guys it was gorgeous (laughs) i'm curious and she had the straps like the new thing mm. right now is the straps that do not touch oh, the shoulder yeah. they go above the shoulder a little bit it's giving i thought pocket. she looked incredible that's all i'm gonna yeah, say she's great. I, she is best no, I agree. Then, right look at that i also love that her and her husband are matching I, it's just like such a classy way to do it it's like it just they they go well together and she was i saw oppenheimer and she was amazing in it and i love I just love her. She's great. You know, I haven't watched that yet. And now all I do is hear about Oppenheimer. Should I watch this? Yes. Is this a must watch? It's so long. It's so interesting. Do you like historical movies? Like, is that something I do. I like when they take place back in the day. I do love that. Yes. I think it was incredible. It's on Peacock now, which is great. So it's like, yeah. And it's, but it's three and a half hours. So you're, you're locked and loaded in that seat. So it's a long one. Jeez, that's and there's one other one that kept winning, lost something. I don't know. They kept winning everything. I was like, I need to watch this too. There was another movie that was nominated for every poor things, poor things. Poor Have things. you seen that? Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a long one too. But that one was it was really good. It was fantastic. Which one's better? Which one's better? So he saw both of them. I only saw poor things. I think um, Oppenheimer is. I think they're both incredible. I, I loved Oppenheimer more. Um, I love Poor Things as well. We did this like thing a couple months ago in New York where we were just trying all different types of movie theaters because there's like 
12 in like four blocks. So we just were like going to every single one that we could just see which one was nicest. I My first job was at a movie theater. So I always like liked that kind of stuff. But um, the Regal Cinema in um, on Essex Street is the best theater I've been to in New York. If anyone's living in New York and listening, like that's a really, it's comfortable, like loungy, very clean. Like it was nice, nice movie theater. And wait, really I quickly, like let it. me just tell you why I didn't see Oppenheimer. I was going to go with him, but he had this fantasy that he was going to go and just like live out a Carrie Bradshaw life and, you know, go to a matinee by himself and watch the movie. And I, I was totally fine with that. I was like, yeah, sure, go. And he goes, because you don't like matinees. Um, I've never said that sentence, but here we go again with the <laughs> Julia Roberts of it all. But I was like, go have your day. I'm not mad. But if you want to find a reason and you want to start with the matinee slander. To go to a movie alone is the most like main character movement ever. It really feels so fierce. I get my popcorn, my soda, and I sit alone because I'm independent. And I wanted to have that moment. And I didn't want to not include you, but I knew that I wanted this for myself. So. That's fine. I did laundry. I stayed home and I did his laundry. <laughs> Yeah, every there are people who love that. By the way, Joe and I are huge movie. You guys could be our best friends. Like we love all we love chain <laughs> restaurants and we love the movies. We are movie buffs. We go all the time. And I think I would get insulted if he's like, I want to go by myself. I'd be like, but why? <laughs> But, like, I don't understand why I'm the best movie partner ever. Like, why would you not want me next to you? <laughs> I know. I know. Next time we'll go. Well, next time we're going to go together. No, so next time I'm going to go by myself. Oh, I'll there be you, go. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to try it, too. I want to see what's so exhilarating about it. Like, I want to see if I wear, if I feel all that strength that you feel when you go. Yeah, that's I'm what sure it is. You it's will. strength. I do. Mm. That's what it is. Yeah, so we'll have to plan a double date. We'll go to the Outback and then we'll go to the movie. <laughs> we'll go to a movie. <laughs> and we'll stop at Envy one more time when I'm there with you. Hey, let's stop at Envy. It's a date. Guys, thank you so much for coming on today. You guys were so much fun. Everyone has to listen to their podcast. It's called Camp Counselors. They are perfectly hilarious, how you can see right now. Um, I absolutely loved getting to know you guys. I cannot say thank you enough for stopping by Envy. That was such a class last act so nice of you guys <laughs> thank you for the support you guys are the best and now that's it you guys got me hooked i'll be also listening to the podcast so don't say anything bad about me like you did about julia roberts okay <laughs> <laughs> i think you're breaking the hex i think you broke it yeah, so oh my god i feel uplifted no thank you so much for broken. having us of this has course. been so much fun we appreciate it of course. I had so much fun with you guys. And maybe next time I'll come pop by your podcast and hang with you guys. That could be fun. That Invited be to the camp at any time for sure. Oh, I Thank can't wait so to come much. camping. I'll bring my sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah. <perfect. laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Bye. You. Ciao. Bye. Oh my God, guys, aren't they so much fun? I love them. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. So next week, we're having a dark week and don't miss me too much, but we'll be back on August 15th with a brand new episode. Love you guys. Have an awesome week. Ciao. What if I told you that I just walked away from a wonderful and very high profile fitness brand to pursue bigger dreams? And I broke away from my own golden handcuffs to pursue a more artistic life. What's up? I'm Kendall Toole. And I'm Gailey Alex. And we are so excited to share our new podcast wholeheartedly with Kendall and Gailey. The two of us have taken the uncharted path and felt we were at a great place or at least at a pivot point in our lives to share our biggest tragedies and triumphs. So that everyone here with us can learn from our battles, victories, and our total F-ups. And that's from two people who have really been through it. Good Lord, yes. We're both still navigating life and we want you to come along on the journey so we can stay in the fight to overcome whatever BS is thrown our way. It's not easy out here, but we'll be walking and talking with you through building careers, self-worth, relationships. Oh, and get some good laughs, please. Or tears. 
there's tears. That's true. There's always tears. That's true. All with our hearts on the line. So if this sounds additive to your journey, we are here for you. Join us every week on Wholeheartedly with Kendall and Gailey. Wholeheartedly will be available July 17th. Listen and subscribe wherever you get your podcast. This summer, it's time to get your giggle on. Pluto TV Summer of Cinema is going to make you LOL with hundreds of free movies all summer long. Get a good chuckle or a deep belly laugh streaming Good Burger, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, and Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. From old school to think like a man, this summer you can chortle, howl, or snort your way through your favorite comedies for free. Download the Pluto TV app now. It's every couch potato stream. Summer of Cinema on Pluto TV. Stream now. Pay never.